Hey guys, I'm here to show you my equipment setup and my record collection, uh, as I said I would in the last video. First I'll show you what I have here in the office, or the den, whatever you want to call it. Then I'll take you into the living room, show you my main setup, and where all the records are. Okay, so here in the office we have the modular component systems, built drive table. This is my girlfriend's table, got it off of Craigslist and uh, took it into the local dealer, have it brought up to speed. Pretty good table. Um, MCS was sold through JCPenney, I believe, in the in the 80s. Most likely a rebranded Pioneer table. Pretty good. Uh, this is the Yamaha receiver I was talking about in the last video. Um, these Aperion audio speakers are powered by the, the Yamaha. Uh, they're a local Oregon company. Um, and I also connect my computer audio through the Yamaha and uh, that's pretty much it for the office setup. Uh, down here we have Creative Records. Most of that is new stuff that I need to listen to and stuff that I would like to show in upcoming videos. Okay, and onward to the, the living room setup. I guess I'll just go ahead and start with the equipment. Up top we have a realistic, another mid-80s table, direct drive. This is my first table. I got it uh, about two years ago, a little over two years ago now. Um, replaced the cartridge that the dealer sold it with, with a Ortofone OM5. Comes standard on the uh, Project AB3 and the, the Rega RP1. Pretty decent cartridge, probably the best that I could do for this particular table and its arm but uh, it's been a really good first table for me I do really look forward to upgrading I probably won't be able to do that anytime soon but this has served me pretty well um, have the uh, last stylus cleaner another carbon fiber brush and uh, on top here we have a clear audio record clamp which is a pretty good accessory to have um, I would recommend that to anybody with a table that can't handle a a screw-on clamp or a record weight. It, it works really well to keep it close to the platter and a little bit better response. Um, down here is my Sony home theater system. Um, I did have everything connected through this, including the table, until recently. Um, it's a pretty pretty cheap unit, but it's performed pretty well, even, even at its, uh, its price range. Down here we have the Music Hall A25.2 and uh, CD25.2 matching set. Uh, this receiver was in the office in my first video. Just brought it out here and connected all the uh, two-channel music stuff to it. Um, the turntable, cassette deck, and the CD player. I'll probably connect my iPod to it if I ever listen to it. I hardly ever do anymore. Um, these two are hand-me-downs from my girlfriend's father. He's an audio nut, so I've benefited quite a bit from that. Um, they're more valuable than any other piece of equipment that I have probably combined. So it's uh, it's nice to be able to, to have that kind of stuff. Uh, this is a TC750LC Phono Preamp that I got from phonopreamps.com. Pretty good unit, pretty inexpensive. Uh, this is a step up from their basic one which comes with the uh, adjustable gain, which I like. Uh, down here, there's the PS2 game system, which probably the, the most I'll ever get to. I don't think I need a PS3 or anything like that. I don't really game that much. If anything, I'd probably go backwards to get a Super Nintendo or something like that. This is an LG Blu-ray player, very cheap and simple. And a Sony cassette deck that I recently got to play cassettes again because it's, it's been a long time. And that is my main setup. Uh, these are all Sony speakers. The, the towers are connected to that music hall for my two channel music listening. You can hear Stanley Jordan playing in the background right now. I love Stanley. Of course the center and front surrounds uh, are connected to the, the Sony. It's a, it makes a pretty good surround sound system. These are all upgrades from what the Sony actually came with 
the uh, surrounds that it came with that I'm still using back there in the corners. Not a very expensive setup, but it, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I also just put that small carpet back there behind the system to give it a little bit of isolation and dampening both for me and for the neighbor. Uh, their living room is right on the other side, so hopefully that helps out with any any noise that they might hear. Uh, that's working out pretty well, and uh, I think it looks pretty good. And on to the record collection. I have two of the popular IKEA Expedite shelves there. Uh, one is my, one is my girlfriend's. Uh, she's graciously let me use most of hers since my collection has outgrown my shelf. Um, I recently reorganized it and I think it flows a little better. It was A to Z down this way. Uh, I moved it A to Z across. Um, after Z there's some 12 inch singles, 10 inch records, the 7 inches, the Coldplay singles box which is pretty cool. Uh, some new cassettes that I need to listen to. Here, uh, jazz, spills over into here, and then some comedy albums at the end of that, uh, along with some soundtracks. Um, down here, some box sets, some record mailers to fill up some space, and these are all oldies, classic, um, uh, Sinatra, Dean Martin, um, Jim Reeves, Classic stuff like that. And uh, these are all box sets of mine. This shelf, this one, and that one down there, those are all my girlfriend's uh, cute little collection there. Um, over here, these all need to be cleaned. And I just moved these uh, box sets over here to make some more room on the main shelves. Uh, some some record sleeves there. Uh, Simon and Garfunkel poster. Some classic glass grapes there. Uh, yeah, that that is my collection so far. And if you care to see on the other side, those are all my DVDs, Blu-rays. I used to work at a, a video store, so I collected quite a few movies while I was there. I do love movies just as much, maybe not quite as much, but almost as much as I love music. And uh, yeah, that is, that's my stuff. Alright guys, thanks for letting me share my stuff with you. Uh, hope you like that look into the way I have things set up here. Um, I'll be back with some more vinyl update videos soon. Uh, thanks again to everyone who's commented and subscribed to the channel so far. It's been really awesome and I really appreciate it. Um, until next time, enjoy the music. Talk to you later.